Today, I would like to talk about modular differential power processing architecture utilizing isolated bus to virtually unify photovoltaic panel characteristics in large-scale systems. In recent years, large-scale photovoltaic systems such as megasolar have been developed and commercialized around the world. However, the partial shading issues triggers a significant reduction in power generation. To solve this problem, differential power processing DPP converters have been proposed. In this presentation, I will propose modular DPP architecture with an isolated bus for large-scale systems. Proposed architecture achieves high extendability, and isolated bus mitigates circuit installation restriction. From the experimental results, maximum power improved by 5.6%. This slide shows the outline of this presentation. Firstly, I will briefly review the partial shading issues and DPP converters as the background. Secondly, I will introduce the details about proposed architecture. Next, aberration analysis will be performed. Lastly, I will show the experimental results using prototype. Background In general, Standard PV storing consists of multiple panels and modules in series. Four panels connected in series are shown as an example in this slide. When partial shading occurs, panel characteristics between shaded panel and unshaded panels are mismatched as shown in the center figure of this slide. Horizontal axis is voltage, vertical axis is current. Red dotted line shows shaded panel. On the other hand, black line shows unshaded panels. As you can see from this figure, shaded panel is likely bypassed through bypass diode at a certain current value. Since the bypassed panel no longer contributes to power generation, it triggers a significant reduction in power generation from PV storing, as shown in top panel of the right-hand figure. In addition to it, Mismatched panel characteristics exhibit multiple maximum power points MPPs, including a global MPP and local MPP. The occurrence of multiple MPPs confuses and hinders the conventional MPP tracking algorithms because the PB storing might operate at a local MPP that is a suboptimal point producing less power than the global MPP. For example, the shaded panel and unshaded panels can potentially produce 50 watt and 100 watt respectively. But since the shaded panel is bypassed, the output power of the storing is just 200 watt. This shaded panel is no longer extractable. Various kinds of differential power processing converters have been proposed and developed as a powerful solution to partial shading issues. The DPP converter transfers a fraction of generated power of unshaded panels to shaded ones. Thanks to power redistribution, all panel characteristics become uniform, and the output power of the storing can be enhanced as high as 250 Watt. There are some DPP converter architectures such as adjacent panel to panel and module to panel. The proper architecture should be selected depending on the application. Adjacent panel-to-panel -panel DPP converter is equipped between panels. This architecture can automatically unify panel characteristics and flexibly be applied to any number of panels, achieving high extendability. However, since the power transfer is limited to adjacent panels, the power from unshaded panels has to traverse multiple converters and panels before reaching the shaded panel. So, the cumulative power conversion loss is prone to soar. In addition, the converter count is proportional to the number of panels connected in series. Circuit complexity and cost are concerned, especially in large-scale systems. Module-to-panel DPP converter can handle multiple panels at the same time. So, converter count is dramatically reduced compared with adjacent DPP converters in large-scale systems. Additionally, power is directly transferred to shaded panels, achieving reduced cumulative power conversion loss. However, redesign of the circuit is required when increasing the number of panels, 
resulting in poor extendability. The detail will be explained in the next slide. This slide shows the conventional module to panel DPP converters called LLC Voltage Multiplier LLC VM. In this drawing, four panels are connected in series, and each panel has voltage BPV. Voltage sources of switches and some capacitors are dependent on the module voltage. Furthermore, the transformer turns ratio is also dependent on the number of panels. When the number of panels is extended to n, voltage sources of components and transformer turns ratio are changed respectively. So, DPP converter must be redesigned depending on the number of panels. Proposed architecture. In this presentation, I will propose modular DPP architecture utilizing an isolated bus. As an example, left hand figure shows the proposed modular DPP architecture for three modules, each containing four panels. The circuit highlighted with red is LLC voltage multiplier, blue part is bidirectional LLC converter, and green part is isolated bus. LLC voltage multiplier operates as module to panel, and bidirectional LLC converter operates as module to module DPP converters respectively. These converters are integrated using a three winding transformer. The primary winding is tied to the resonant capacitor. The secondary winding is connected to the coupling capacitors and the midpoint of each module. The tertiary winding is connected to the blocking capacitors. This figure is a system conceptual diagram of proposed architecture. If module 3 is shaded and the voltage of module 3 is lower than other modules, the power directly transfers from other modules to module 3, resulting in decreased cumulative power conversion loss in large-scale systems. Additionally, this architecture has features such as high extendability and mitigated installation restriction. These features are explained from next slide. As I explained in previous slide, voltage sources of switches and some capacitors are dependent on the module voltage. Even when the configuration is extended from two modules to three modules, the voltage sources of components and the turns ratio of transformer do not change because the module design such as the number of panels is fixed. So, the system can be flexibly scaled up by just adding modules without redesigning the DPP converter. In general, the modules are installed several meters apart in large-scale systems. Long cables are used to connect these modules. Modules in the proposed DPP architecture are coupled through the isolated DC bus, and so DC currents flow unaffectedly by cable inductance. High and low side switches of the bidirectional LLC can better alternately conduct in a complementary manner. The primary and the tertiary side switches are synchronized. On the other hand, synchronization among modules is unnecessary because modules are DC coupled. So, DPP converter can operate independently, and installation restriction of PV modules is mitigated. Operation analysis Similar to ordinary LLC converters, there are two resonant frequencies in the proposed converter. The first resonant frequency, F0, is the resonance between the leakage inductance and the resonant capacitor. The second resonant frequency, FR, involves magnetic inductance in addition to leakage inductance and resonant capacitor. Switching frequency, FS, should be set between two resonant frequencies to achieve soft switching. Please note that capacitors other than resonant capacitor should be large enough to avoid resonant operations. Left hand figure shows theoretical key operation waveforms when PV1 is shaded. Operation modes are divided into six modes. Since the first three modes are symmetric to the last three modes, the first three modes current flow directions only will be described in this presentation. The operation is very similar to ordinary LLC converters. 
as the switches turned on and turned off the resonant current flows. In the proposed converter, diodes connected in parallel with shaded panel only conduct, while other diodes do not. So, this topology supplies current to the shaded panel only, and DC current always flows to the shaded module through the isolated bus. Since the principle of soft switching is the same as ordinary LLC converter, please let me skip the detailed explanation. This figure shows the equivalent circuit of the LLC voltage multiplier comprising four panels. The LLC voltage multiplier is driven by AC voltage or current generated by resonant tank and supplies AC current to the secondary side. Coupling capacitors connected to the secondary winding are responsible for passing only AC current components. So, all panels as well as diode rectifiers and coupling capacitors are separated and grounded. Since all panels are connected in parallel and PV1 is the lowest voltage in the module due to partial shading, currents from the LLC voltage multiplier automatically and preferentially flow toward PV1. Eventually, all panel characteristics are nearly unified. This slide describes the compensation principle between modules. The bidirectional LLC converter is operated with fixed duty cycle and switching frequency, and then the voltage conversion ratio between the module and isolated bus is constant. In addition to it, the output ports of bidirectional LLC converter are connected in parallel. So, the output voltages of bidirectional LLC converters are always the same. When module 2 is high voltage module and module 1 is low voltage one, DC current automatically flows from module 2 to module 1 through the isolated bus to unify module characteristics. Experimental results Left hand figure shows the prototype for 4 panel module, and right hand table is component values. This prototype can handle four panels in each module. Output characteristics of the LLC voltage multiplier and bidirectional LLC converter were measured using this experimental setup. An external power supply was used instead of actual PV panels, and variable resistances were connected to the output port of the LLC voltage multiplier and bidirectional LLC converter in order to sweep output characteristics. The bottom left hand figure shows the waveforms of LLC voltage multiplier. The good agreement with the theoretical ones demonstrated that the proper operation of the prototype. These are the measured output voltage, power, and power conversion efficiency. Horizontal axis is current. The maximum power conversion efficiency was approximately 92.6%. This slide shows the output characteristics of the bidirectional LLC converter. The bottom left hand figure shows the waveforms of the bidirectional LLC converter. This figure also demonstrated that the proper operation of the prototype. According to output characteristics, the maximum power conversion efficiency was approximately 91.3%. This slide shows the result of field testing. Left hand figure shows PV storing consisting of three modules, and then three prototypes were used in this testing. Five panels were covered with masking tape to emulate partial shading condition. Individual panel characteristics are shown in top right hand figure. Short circuit current of shaded panels decreased. Additionally, there were local MPPs in some panel characteristics, probably due to substring level mismatch originating from dirt, dust, and non uniform azing. The bottom right hand figure shows storing PV characteristics. Horizontal axis is storing voltage, vertical axis is power. Black line is without proposed converter, on the other hand, red line is with proposed converter respectively. As you can see from this figure, thanks to the proposed converter, maximum power improved by 5.6%. However, the local MPP was observed again due to the mismatched substring characteristics. 
Proposed DPP converter only unifies the characteristics of panels and modules, and substring level compensation is not feasible. So, substring level DPP converters would be necessary to completely eliminate such local MPPs. Conclusions I have proposed modular DPP architecture with isolated bus for large scale systems. Since the DC current flows through the isolated bus, insulation restriction of PB modules is mitigated. Finally, the experimental verification demonstrated that proposed DPP converter enhanced maximum power by 5.6%. Thank you for your attention.